And so, um, I lost a lot of faith during that time and, and pretty much walked away from, from like deep down inside, I knew I still believed, but I, I was done with going to church. There was too much hypocrisy and I didn't, it didn't feel right. So late in 2016, um, is when I hear that the black people brought here on the slave ships could possibly be the same people that the whole Old Testament is written about, the Israelites. And so I started to research that and read and watch videos and read things online. And it, especially after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, the first half of the chapter is the is the blessings that Israel will receive if they just keep the commands. That's all they had to do. And then the um, the second half is the the curses that are going to fall on them if they don't keep the commands. Please go read those. Go read those and think about what these people have been through since day one of arriving in this country as slaves. And you. Um, uh, just make up your own mind and pray about it and see where the Father leads you on that. That's all I can say. Um, for me, personally, this is my journey. And for me, it brought the scriptures alive to me. Like, I believed it. Like, these are, to me, his people that um, are still living this curse because they haven't been keeping the law. They, they don't worship the Father alone anymore. Um, but anyway... This brought the scriptures alive to me. And from there, I then um, began on this journey of learning 